welcome back to another video with yarn as a second language today we're doing things a tad bit different it is a haul video but not all about yarn so we went to dollar general today and the first thing i had to check out was the yarn of course not much of a selection kind of disappointed but that's all right so the only thing they really had was this lion brand um, re-up and I did not know about this brand beforehand, so I looked it up, and this is their recycled um, yarn. They only had cotton, um, but I've got to say it was—it felt better than the other cotton brands that um, I've used in the past. Even better, like softer. When I say better, I mean softer than the sugar and cream brand cotton. Um, I did not pick any of these up but I should have, but I'm definitely gonna go back and get a few of them, I mean for a buck 75, why not? And make a few things out of them and just see how the finished product turns out. But I gotta say, I was impressed, impressed and um, yeah, they had some pretty good colors to choose from also. So other than that, they really didn't have anything else as far as um, yarn or, but they had plenty of crafting things. Um, as you can see here, they had um, a couple embroidery sets. Um, and the only other um, yarn stuff they had was uh, these knitting hooks. I'm sorry, knitting needles and these crochet hooks. And that was about it. So I decided to just move on and just... So this is really going to be about... Um, you know, since it's, it's holiday season, everybody's traveling and occasionally... You know, you're like, oh, I forgot to get this person a gift or you really want to continue whatever craft project you're working on, but you're on vacation or you're traveling. So this is what this uh, video is all about. So if you're like me, there's always kids around you when you're traveling. Um, and I have found that most kids love painting or drawing of some sort. So. I thought this section was really cool. Um, they had plenty of water, watercolor pencils, um, brushes, different types of paints. Um, and my favorite to use with kids are these acrylic paints. Uh, my son really likes those. So definitely not a, a shortage of paints at the Dollar General. And also I was very surprised that they had a lot of different books to choose from for kids. Um, coloring books, uh, puzzle books, and I apologize if you hear bath water in the background. <laughs> it's bath time at my house. And I really wanted to get this out to you guys, but a quiet moment around my house isn't really a popular thing. So anyway, I did pick up about five of these for uh, my son. And I tell you what, Dollar General got me. So as you can see, a lot of these books have a dollar marked on them. And I found one, my son's really into Peppa Pig right now and I found a Peppa Pig book and I bought it. And when I went to the cash register, the four books out of the five said a dollar, 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 dollar. And then the Peppa Pig one, $9.99. So I was not expecting that. I should have known because it didn't have that little dollar mark on the book. But since it was the one I was most excited about getting them, that's the one I went with. But they had lots of cool books to choose from. Um, and one thing we try to do is, you know, we don't really get my son a lot of toys. We like him to be interactive with uh, his numbers and his letters and all that. He's four, so he's in that stage of really grasping all that. So they did not disappoint. And he's going to love this Blue Clues one because he is totally into Blue Clues right now. And I also wanted to give a shout out to myself for picking out these books and opening them up one handed yeah one handed Nikki wasn't with me this time so I was flying solo um, so pat myself on the back <laughs> um, but yeah they had plenty to choose from um, again more markers crayons and items like that so I haven't really given out much detail about what I like to do on this channel yet, but I am a big workout person. I absolutely love working out. It's a good stress reliever for me. And if you're traveling, you do want to get a little workout in, but you forgot your equipment or you just didn't want to bring it. They have a few things here. Um, they got bands right there. Um, bands are a phenomenal way of getting a whole full body workout. 
Um, this stuff is on the cheap end because it is, you know, Dollar General is not really known for their workout supplies, but they do have options and they're definitely worth trying out. Now that right there is something you need for sore muscles. And I think I also pick up a foam roller and those are really good to relieve any sore muscles or just to get a good stretch in general also. Now that one is a little bit soft in my opinion, but for beginners, um, it's good. And especially for traveling, that's, that's really what it's for. It's, uh, it's a good travel companion for stretching and stuff. So a few options there, but moving on back to toys. Um, toys galore. Um, I don't think you'll find any shortage of gifts for little boys, little girls um, at Dollar General, at least not the one that I was at today. Um, as you can see, there's just everything. Um, I did end up getting my son this paint by number. Um, of course, he is learning his numbers and colors and all that, so I thought he'd love that. A lot of these toys also, I saw a lot of old school toys that I grew up with, like Play-Doh, but they were like amped up, like these Play-Doh neon colors. And Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. I mean, <laughs> I, I love it. I love seeing the, the old school toys, well, old school to me anyway, amped up to, you know, a newer version. Now that sand art, would never make it to my house. There would be sand everywhere, and I'm not cleaning that up. So as you can, as you can see here, they've got tons of giant um, coloring books. Good thing to keep the kids busy for a while. There we are, we just got some more coloring books. And uh, I know you can see those are $3. The hot thing right now is the Mandalorian and the Baby Yoda. And they had some there. And I was surprised to see them. Didn't think they'd have that, but I know that's a hot item right now. I end up getting this for my son as well. He loves fish, so got him a fishing game. And yeah, there's tons of board games. Uh, like I was saying before, it's just no shortage of toys here. In fact, I'm gonna let just the camera just do its thing and you guys can just take a look. But first, before I leave, hold on. I love that. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I know I'm a little late on that because they've been out for a while, but I had never really seen one in person and I thought that was pretty cool looking. You remember the glue like that, old school glue? Well, I go down the aisle a little bit more and they have this new glue, <clears throat> watercolor or washable color glue. One, thank you for making it washable. Two, my kid loves the colors. And three, it actually works. Because I did try this out. I used them and they are washable. Now this right here, I had never seen, thought of, heard of. It's like a, it's like, it's goo. We had, when I was growing up, it was called yak. And it was just like slime, but this is more like a, like a goo sort of thing. And I did not get this and I didn't open one, but I guess it's got different scents. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's different for me, but it's kind of cool. And of course, a classic, the cat in the hat. Who doesn't love the cat in the hat? I know I sure did growing up. In fact, I still do. And now here, I'm just going down the Christmas aisle, just looking at different ornaments and decorations that they have. And um, you could definitely decorate your house with the items they had there. There was plenty to choose from. Um, in my house, we kind of use black Santas and they did not have that, but most places don't that's pretty hard to find but maybe i'll post a few that we actually have in my house i'll, I'll post it on our instagram account so you guys can take a look because they're pretty cool looking so yeah lots of bows i remember a couple years ago i had bought my wife a truck and i looked everywhere for a big bow like that and i couldn't find one 
ended up finding one at Hobby Lobby for like 40 bucks. If I had known Dollar General had something like that, you know I would have saved that money. So we got matching pajamas there. I thought that was pretty cool for the family. And those stockings there, they had a great deal on stockings. It was like buy one, get one half off. So for like a buck 50, you can get two stockings. I don't know anybody that can beat that price. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I have one more little surprise for you all. It's really for Nikki. And it's going to come up in three, two, one, boom. Michael B. Jordan. That's for you, Nikki. <laughs>